Hi, this is Garth from teachersfortomorrow.net, and this is part of the remote learning uh, series that we are producing to help teachers move to a more online instruction. So this is part two of slides. So the first thing I want to do is take a couple looks at some things you can do. Slides has some themes. The themes are pretty basic. You can import themes if you want, but generally they're pretty basic what you can pick from. Um, so let's just pick this one and call it a day. You can pick whichever you would like. Second thing is how do you add slides? There's two things. There's a plus sign here that adds a new slide or a new slide, but it picks the slide you've used before. So I want, I don't want a title slide. I want, um, you know, I want this. So when you click it, it gives you a different option. So again, the arrow aiming down lets you pick. Do you want a big picture? You know, do you want a title only? Do you want a, you know, columns and facts? So in this case, I picked this and I'm going to move to this slide because I kind of already did it. So for March 30th, I would like to have you use my maps. So for them, I'm going to give them some direction over here. Uh, so today you will work with I don't know, I could put more, but we'll just do that. So the next piece is how do you add an image? So I just typed the little directions. We're going to have feudalism. Um, I guess we could do the Vikings. We've addressed those, and we're going to do the fall of Rome. Now, I'm kind of giving you a social studies perspective, but you could certainly pick any perspective you want. Um, my Maps is a program, and again, I probably don't have a My Map image on this computer, so I'll quickly just open this up. And I'll grab a kid's um, My Maps we did. So this is a kid from 2017, so I'll just pull hers up, take a screenshot. So I want to add a picture of this. Uh, screenshots were addressed in the Google Docs section, so I'm on a Mac, so I can use Command Shift uh, 4. That allows me to pull that up, and I want to insert a picture, so I go into Insert an Image. Now, I will explain. I'm doing it from a computer, but you can also search the web. You can do your Google Photos URL, or you can even take a picture of yourself or whatever you need. I'm going to do from my computer because I grabbed that screenshot of my maps and insert. And there's my my map. Way too big, so I can grab it and drag it down to size, right? And get it where I'd like it. So it's good enough for the slide I want. So this has been a quick tutorial on about how to add a theme, right? We talked about how to add different types of slides. And now we've inserted um, pictures into your slideshow.